AI who made billions out of creating super clunky corporate software. What you didn't realize is that Bill Gates doesn't think of himself that way. Bill Gates doesn't think of himself as some guy who got super rich making bad software. Bill Gates thinks of himself as God in control of the solar system. And that's why Bill Gates is now backing something called sun dimming technology that would reflect sunlight out of the Earth's atmosphere, causing global cooling. Ooh, that's not fraught with risks. <laughs> you thought gain of function research on pathogens was dangerous. Try that. But that doesn't stop Harvard University. Its scientists are testing that technology by spewing calcium carbonate dust into the atmosphere. Bill Gates is backing the first high altitude experiment of one radical climate change solution, creating a massive chemical cloud that could cool the earth. It's called solar geoengineering and it's highly controversial. It would look something like this. Thousands of planes would fly very high and use nozzles to inject millions of tons of light reflecting particles into the stratosphere. It would create a thin chemical cloud of those particles around the whole planet, blocking some sunlight from reaching the surface. It would mimic a giant volcanic eruption, which we know cools the earth. Now, just to restate, Bill Gates is not God. Bill Gates is some kind of weird, socially awkward rich guy who lives in Seattle. He doesn't own the planet, but he's now changing the planet single-handedly. This is not just over his yard in Seattle. This is over your yard and our oceans and the whole planet. Now, according to Forbes, Frank Kutch, who is the project's top investigator, quote, does not know what the results might bring. We'll just experiment with the globe and find out what happens. It's cool, though. He's a billionaire. Michael Schellenberger is the author of Apocalypse Never, Why Environmental Alarmism Hurts Us All, which it does as our rivers and oceans get dirtier and no one notices. Uh, Michael, it's great to see you tonight. Thanks for so having me, Tucker. It's a little alarming to think that someone as myopic and out of touch and totally ideological and weird as Bill Gates thinks he's in charge of the planet. What should we be worried about here? I mean, basically everything. I mean, when I first heard about this uh, many you know, over two decades ago, this was a thought experiment. But this is real. They're really trying to do this. They've, they've encountered opposition every step of the way. I've co-authored uh, articles with the, with the Harvard investigator. Uh, we've told him personally this is a terrible idea. The vast majority of scientists disagree with this. You have to remember what they're proposing to do is identical to what we feared would occur after nuclear war in the 1980s, which is nuclear winter. The idea is that you cool right. the planet deliberately. The effects on crops are completely unknown. They call this an experiment, but they know that there is no way to figure out what the large scale planetary effects of this kind of thing would be. It's grossly irresponsible. They know for a fact that they will never get international agreement on this. So they're basically trying to socialize the idea, normalize the idea, make us comfortable with an idea that should make us extremely uncomfortable. Yeah, a guy who cuts his hair with garden shears is now trying to control the solar system. The funny thing is, anyone who notices this, that maybe Bill Gates has outsized control over our lives, is immediately denounced by Snopes or one of these fraudulent fact-checking sites as a conspiracy nut. Do you think you're a conspiracy nut to have concerns about Bill Gates's hubris and ambitions? No, I mean, this is, uh, this is bonkers. I, I mean, honestly, there are very few people, when you talk to them privately, that think this is a good idea. There's a lot of people that are very scared to speak out publicly because Bill Gates' influence is extraordinary. He's a massive philanthropist. I think his intentions are very good. I, nobody doubts he's well-intentioned. But good intentions can lead to some very bad things. The amount of hubris and arrogance involved here we're talking about millions of farmers around the world who will be affected by this. How will they be consulted? How, what is the idea for how this is going to be governed? There is no plan for governance. There is no way to get agreement on this internationally. They know this. You know, Tucker, the thing is, the trends on climate change, most people don't realize they're going in the right direction. The United States has reduced its carbon emissions by, by you know, more than any other country over the last 20 years. We've had an extraordinary success in the United States in reducing our air pollution, and now we're, now we're faced with the prospects of this radical experiment. If there's one thing we could do to improve our country overnight, it's tax, tax-exempt nonprofits. People like Bill Gates make billions. They die, but they continue to distort our society with these tax-exempt foundations. We should tax them immediately. Pay the rate we pay <laughs> today. Michael, thank you. Great to see you.